Hello my friends, I'm Lucas and you are watching Coldemons PL How to Paint Siri. Today I would like to show you some fast way to paint the hard edge tritonal camouflage. As a base I will use the SWS Bronco model in 35 scale. We start with painting the base color which in this case will be dark yellow but lightened with a few drops of white. Why do we brighten? There are several reasons. First and foremost I have always liked the lighter shade on models including this type of the camo and now was an opportunity to apply that. Secondly after weathering the color will be darkened a little. Thirdly it won't be the base color because most of it will be covered by another two camo colors but you have to start somewhere and in my opinion it's better to begin with light colors because they are easier to cover with dark colors than vice versa. As we already have a painted model it's worth taking a look at the colored schemes of the vehicles on which you can see how did they look like or at least how the vehicles from World War II were supposed to look like. Here I have selected a dozen similar designs that are presented on different vehicles but they all have common elements that is sharp edges and three colors. Ok let's go to work. As for me there are two easy ways to paint such a camo. The first is by hand, we paint green and brown with a brush and the second is the same as you can see here, that is using masking tape. I don't know which one is faster, both have their own advantages and disadvantages. We will definitely not do it in 5 minutes and you need to reserve some time to do the job well regardless of whether you paint with a brush or airbrush. Draw irregular shapes of camo spots on the strips of masking tape glued on a flat surface. Once we cover the entire strip we can start cutting. It's better to make more masks than we can choose the best matching ones. A sharp knife is essential. Slowly and pressing just enough to cut the paper we run along the lines drawn with a pencil and thus prepare our plates. Once the hole is cut out we can separate the individual pieces or even immediately apply them to the model. While sticking the mask on the model remember to avoid removing them many times because the adhesive on the tape won't be as strong as it should. In addition try to match the shapes of the spots to the body of the vehicle. They often had an equal cut off at the edge of the element. I decided to cover the sand color first. Once all the blocks were glued to the model I prepared the brown paint and painted all exposed surfaces. There is no rocket science in this so just load your airbrush with the paint and do the job. As you can see even though the film is a bit sped up it's clear that I didn't play too much with the painting and everything went smoothly. Blah 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 blah. It's just talk to fill the free space. I left the model for a while to dry well and started to put on more masks so that this time I would cover the brown paint at a moment ago. We repeat the entire procedure and apply more cutouts. Now we are going to apply green. We dilute it well, load into the airbrush and start the last painting. It's important that the paint doesn't flow under the masking tape, so we need to check its adhesion to the surface each time. But even when it does, don't worry about it. Such painting artifacts look interesting and even add realism. As you can see this is a simple technique and I think anyone can handle it without any problems. 
The most important thing is to have time to work calmly and good drink on the table. What's next? Just after painting you can remove all the pieces of the tape that we have applied to the model so far. It's best to do this with tweezers gently peeling the model. I usually do this by cleaning individual sections of the vehicle, so that there is no forgotten pieces of the tape left somewhere which happened to me before, especially with the pixel camo where we have small elements. And that's all. Base camo painted. I'm waiting for your opinions and suggestions on what would you like to see in next how to paint episodes. Today was short, but I think many beginners will find it worth paying attention to and they will decide to use it on their models in the future. If you are not my subscriber yet, please do so now. Most of you probably won't click the red button because this is what the statistics of previous videos show. I do the same, but it's worth having everything at hand and don't wasting time searching. That's all for today, my friends. See you next Monday. Cheers!